Many have questioned, many have doubted, many refuse to believe, refusal to accept the achievement far, far away, not just in probability, but far, far away from what you consider home, but home to the fastest import race card in the world. So the, the goal for bringing the Pro 86, Econ Racing Pro 86 to the States was really to prove to ourselves that we could compete against the best in the world. And so we had strategically picked uh, a couple of PDRA events that we thought schedule-wise and time of the year and location-wise would work for, for what, we, what we wanted to do. Um, so obviously the car came here in you know, May and we ran the thing in, in Orlando to test it and then we took it up to Michigan. We had, you know, really good success. You know, it was heartbreaking in the to lose in the final the way we lost, but overall we were thrilled to be able to, to showcase what what we can do with with this little engine uh, combination against the best there are in, in all of the world. And everyone pretty much would agree, I think, that the best in the world of drag racing are all located here in the United States. Um, and so it seems like bringing the car here to a premier racing venue um, would, would for ourselves give us some legitimacy and also you know prove to the world that we weren't doing it in Bahrain under some weird circumstance or whatever and so that was the point of bringing the car here and you know as far as that goes we were completely successful in our mission we ran two 580s um, luckily we're able to be quick enough to be the quickest ones in the states at this time and we sort of have nothing left to prove and obviously we want to have a great weekend here at PDRA in Bradenton before we ship the car back to Bahrain to get it ready for the season there. The other reason we chose this race um, in Bradenton, obviously logistically it's close to, to Titan, uh, which is where the car was being housed, and it also gives us an opportunity to right before we go back to Bahrain to race the car, to have the car prepared, test all of our new equipment. We ran the car for three days, trying multiple different setups. We learned a lot of what doesn't work, which you typically learn with a race car, but we learned a few things that do work. So we're excited to be able to have had the opportunity to come and race at PDRA, race here in the States, and you know we, we may be back in the future with the car. PBRA is the premier drag racing series in the United States for pro modified style drag racing. The events are contested at numerous venues around the country. Races are contested over one eighth of a mile distance. The Ikenu Racing Pro 86 fits the category rules for Pro Boost, 
where they will have to qualify in the top 16 spots in order to race in elimination against cars with engines two and a half times larger. Qualifying round one is coming up. Driver Gary White is no stranger to driving these types of vehicles. He was the first driver in the world to record a 5 second pass in an import in the Team Supra in 2015. You can see the concentration on his face as he dons his safety gear and climbs into his 250 mile per hour office. The Ikenu crew has made all the adjustments that can be made. Now the task is up to Gary. The first qualifier delivers a 4.002 second pass at 188 miles per hour. The team works quickly on adjustments. With rain halting the event for most of the day, the first qualifier arrives in the evening. The pressure is on the team to get the car ready for a quick turnaround and into the second qualifier. With the Ikenu GT86 scheduled to return to Bahrain after the event, its passes in US soil are numbered. PVRA graciously allows the team the opportunity to run a full quarter mile pass during qualifiers, which means another opportunity to reset a US record. Ikenu Racing resets the US record with a 585 pass at 235 miles per hour, but also the 8th mile pass of 386 at 202 miles per hour, a new personal best trap at the 8th mile, and the first import to run 200 miles per hour at the 8th. Now I can go back home. During the weekend, the team was able to improve their own US import record of 589 to 585, 
they qualified 5th overall with a 386 in Pro Boost and posted the second fastest speed for the category at 202 miles per hour, which is also a new world import record for speed in the 8th mile. So for me personally, this is uh, coming up on 10 years of being involved with, with Ibrahim and with Heider and the whole group at Econ Racing and uh, I have to say and this is you know, short of short of the the day I got married and and the day that I that I saw my daughter for the first time, this has been absolutely the best thing that's ever happened to me. And from the bottom of my heart, I really want to thank everyone in Econ Racing, but especially Heider, uh, team manager and Clearly, I want to thank Ibrahim Kanu. You know, the best part of our relationship is the fact that I get to call him my friend. So, EK, thanks, man. Ten years. Since the Ikanu Racing Team broke the world import five-second barrier with their Supra in 2015, there have been over 20 five-second import passes recorded worldwide. 17 of them by Ikanu Racing. Ibrahim was very clear in his message. I love Bahrain and finally I can go home. Racing in Bahrain will always be my priority. I came to show proof of life, to make those who doubt and question believe. But with the start of the Bahrain season around the corner, I must leave now. I'm sure many imports in the US will continue to come after my record, and when they do, I will return.